This is the craziest monitor that you've never heard of. Hello guys, it's Talia. So Acer have released some really original monitors over the past few years. Gaming displays with their Predator line that seem to get bigger and more curved every year. At some point it has to stop, right? <laughs> and monitors for creatives, most notably with their Spatial Labs 3D monitor, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It perfectly images your 3D creations in Blender to your display, so you can view them in, in reality. I've never seen 3D look so clean, so realistic. If you ever see one of these at an event or in a store, they bring them around, especially to the gaming events. Um, try it out because you will be mind blown. You can also play games on them, crazy. But all of these designs tend to live in the gaming slash creative world because they're so special and really special tech like this tends to also come with a special price tag. <laughs> That's where the new portable displays come in. It has a crazy dual screen design and it's weirdly affordable. Right? They come in two sizes, a 15.6 inch or 16 inch dual screen and the larger 18.5 inch, which Acer called the 19 inch. Um, and it is, the ultra portable monitor setup. There is two full HD displays that stand up on a kickstand, which can then be folded down to a one inch thickness, weighing just over 1.5 kilos, pretty much like a laptop. You can use it as two separate displays or one big mega display. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> It's pretty interesting, honestly, to be able to increase your display count from not one to two, but one to three, that, that's, a, that's a whole lot of screen. <laughs> and if you need to work on your laptop on the go, but you hate how little screen you get, especially when you're working on different projects, say for me, I need to edit from my laptop. So I would probably use this by keeping Premiere Pro open on my laptop or having like my research and notes on one side and After Effects or something important on the other. And the smaller 16 inch is especially good for taking on the go as the two USB-Cs it comes with, boop, boop, one for connecting as a display and one for power, can both be plugged into your laptop, bypassing the need for a power outlet. This is a really cool concept for content creation. The ability to take your whole setup with you on shoot, brilliant. And the 19 inch here will definitely need a power outlet because it is massive. <laughs> I almost recorded with it until I saw it standing next to me. <laughs> um, that being said, for their height, they do take up a tiny amount of desk space. Yay big. This will be great for tiny setups because it takes up almost no room. You can even vase mount it onto a monitor arm so then you keep 100% of your desk space. Or if you work at like a multifunctional surface. <laughs> the dining room table. You can easily set it up when you need to and then just fold it down and put it away in a drawer when you're all done. Really like plug and play to use. You don't even need to use it in this orientation either. You can flip the top screen back to make this um, tent configuration, which could be good for playing battleships, you know, or uh, even running a business. <laughs> Say if you're like me sitting behind the desk and then a customer like yourself comes in, then we could both see the screen like, oh yes, you see the business figures right here. <laughs> I have a job. <laughs> now let's talk about the specs. There are two full HD displays with IPS panels. The 18.5 inch has a refresh rate of 100 Hertz and the smaller 15.6 is 60 Hertz. It's nice you get that extra speed with the bigger screen. It's gonna feel really nice and responsive. They both have 250 nits of brightness, which is definitely gonna help if you are taking them out with you. And they have two USB type C connections, which we're gonna be using <laughs> and a mini HDMI. And this is all kept kind of on the on the base of the display where the kickstand folds into. The kickstand itself is metal, it's really, really sturdy, and the chassis itself is plastic, so it's light, but the kickstand keeps it nice and secure. And just in general, it feels like sturdy. It has auto pivot, so you can easily switch between orientations. It could be pretty useful when working with documents and social media content to view it vertically. You cannot do that with a monitor. <laughs> Rarely can you do that with a monitor. And like a monitor, they do come with onboard speakers, which do the job for its usage. <laughs> Overall, I think this is so interesting. It looks really cool for an easy and very clean looking home setup to just get two screens like that. And even better if you need to take your PC with you out to the office, out on a shoot. I keep mentioning content creation, but it would be useful because when you're on a bigger shoot, you always take your laptop with you anyway. And then this is, it's just one extra laptop. What is one extra laptop? These are already released, but I'm going to leave the pricing here. Let me know what you think of the portable display dual monitor, because I think it is such a cool piece. Tell me down below what you would use it for. I mean, apart from battleships and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.